a terrible tragedy, but not a culpable one. That was the consensus from both the defense and the Crown Friday in the first degree murder trial of Rohini Bissasar. The agreement of facts says Bissasar did, in fact, stab and kill 28 year old newlywed Rosemary Junor, but that she was motivated by severe schizophrenia in December of 2015 at an underground shopper's drug mart in Toronto. The family says there is no justice. There's no, there's no justice. She got no justice, right? If it's somebody's daughter, child, sister, brother, any one of you guys happen to, you guys will think the same thing we're all thinking. Regardless of what a doctor says or whatever, we'll all say the same thing, right? But that's the doctor's job. He did his job. The judge has to do his job. So we just got to, you know, live and wait and move on. You know, you all have families, I guess. And may I remind you all that when you see you leave your home in the morning and you get home at night, just tell them that you love them because you never know what will happen, like what happened that fateful morning with my daughter. Dr. Ian Swayze told the court Bissasar suffered from delusions and hallucinations. And had she been treated before the attack, this likely would not have happened. And pointed out most who commit crimes and suffer from mental illness are held responsible. So this is an anomaly. She was of the belief that she was externally controlled by devices that were planted either in or on her body, which were causing her to uh, have certain thoughts, movements, actions and activities, and unfortunately the, the stabbing and the death itself. The Crown has a duty to act in the public interest, and I think that when they recognized that there were actually legitimate claims to an NCR uh, here and that my client had been experiencing a uh, significant uh, major mental health issue. They got on board with that position because they felt it was the right thing to do. Uh, now that she is, uh, is well, uh, she is of course uh, very remorseful that this happened and uh, I understand that she's made comments that uh, Ms. Junior is the victim of her mental illness. With the Crown agreeing that this should be a case of not criminally responsible, the judge will give his decision on Tuesday. For City News, I'm Lucas Meyer.